Hello everyone, Rambles here, and welcome back to World of Warcraft Mysteries of Azeroth. Thank you guys very much for clicking on the video and choosing to join me here today. I truly do appreciate it. And I hope everybody is doing well. We have uh, a couple things to do here in Westfall today. I was able to turn in a few of the quests that we completed last time in Lachmadan. And now we're going after the last intact animation rune. Then we're going to tackle the People's Militia Part 3. That's going to be down in the south. So yeah, that'll start us off for today. Uh, let's head over to the Alexton Farmstead. That's a pretty good place to farm up the last of the golems we need. It is an absolutely gorgeous time of day here in Westfall. Very lucky to be able to play at this time, server time. Uh, it's really when Westfall is at its best, it's right around sunset. And there we go, that's the last rune that we need. I, I want to go turn this one in before we do anything else, just to make sure it doesn't chain. I have a feeling that it's probably going to chain at least one more time. Not sure where that's going to lead us, but I want to find out before we do anything else. Uh, also, it would probably be a good idea to empty out the old inventory before we head to the south to take on another batch of Defias. So we'll do that also. Good job, and all of them are of an extraordinary quality, too. I didn't think that you could do it, to be fair. The last adventurer helping me, let's just say he got harvested, if you know what I mean. It's great to finally have someone who knows what they're doing. So would you want to help me once more? I need something else to be done. I cannot leave Sentinel Hill for now. You know, I'm waiting for a shipment of supplies from Red Ridge, and it could arrive any moment. Alright... Another part of the Harvest Golem mystery. I knew you wouldn't pass up another opportunity to earn some coin. Ever been to Stormwind City? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you have. In the northern part of the city, there was a district inhabited mostly by non-humans, dwarves, gnomes, even high elves lately. One of my dear friends, a gnomish engineer with a lovely name, Lilim, lives there. I need you to tell him 
that Hewan sent you. He will give you a paper, a blueprint even. You know what a blueprint is. Good. So take the blueprint, come back to me, and I will pay you. Okay. Um, hmm. Why do I have a feeling that these are actually going to lead us into a, a Dead Minds quest? That's kind of like the vibe I'm picking up now. Is I remember, isn't there like a big Harvest Golem boss somewhere in the Dead Mines? Mm, let's go do this one. Uh, we could head south and take on the Defias. This is probably going to chain at least a couple more times. So let's pay a little visit to Stormwind City. And I want to follow up on this. And it is a gorgeous time of evening to go for a nice little griffin ride anyway. Now, I'm assuming that we're heading somewhere in the Dwarven District, he said, the place with all the non-humans. That's interesting, there's quite a bit of smog here, actually. There was a nice, pretty sunset sky, and the smog here has obscured it. A little bit too much mining and smithing in one area, perhaps. Uh, let's go ahead and empty the inventory, while I'm still thinking about it. Hewan sent you, that son of a trog couldn't even visit me himself. Preposterous, I got his blueprint, but if you knew how much hassle it cost me, if only you knew, tell Hewan that next time he orders something from me, he pays double. Here you have it, the Harvester blueprint. The goblin who sold it to me, I wish I'd never see his green face again. I looked into these blueprints, I don't know for what Hewan needs it, but it's nothing good, I tell you. 
This is a machine of death and destruction. I am only giving you this because he is my old friend and I hope he still has some brain left in his greedy head. Off and away. This quest might take a little bit of a turn for the dark side, it seems. You know, while we're here, maybe we should do a little bit of shopping at the auction house. It's been a little while since we popped by the auction house to check what kind of gear they have going on. Uh, but maybe we should look, and maybe paying a visit to the front of Stormwind for some extra rested XP would not be a bad idea either. I'm sure someone has a tent up. Can we find any shoulder stuff at level 18? Yeah, we can. Uh, sure, let's... Let's go ahead and buy a pair of shoulders. Ah, there's really nothing better than what we have. Interestingly, there are no blue items. I guess there probably just aren't very many blue items for, like, leveling cloth. Uh, five intellect. It's not, well, I mean, we give up stamina for intellect. It's not necessarily a bad thing. Mystic's robes, agility and intellect? Mystic Wrap, more agility and intellect. Hmm. Hmm. At this point, it's like an aesthetics choice. I think I just like, let's grab the, the Mystic's Wrap. Let's do like tunic and trousers. Kind of like the tuner, tunic and trouser look for casters. Oh, there's actually some blue pants. 23 gold, 32 gold. Mm, it's a little bit better than what we have. Maybe we should grab it. What else? Three intellect, three spirit for a gold.
That's for any luck we don't have. Let's go ahead and splurge a little bit on the bracers. Okay, that should be good for now. Let's go grab that stuff out of the mailbox and then we'll head back to Westfall. There we go, that is our new look. I dig it. Back to the Flight Master we go. Looking for something specific? The Harvest Blueprints. Christopher Hewen looks into the blueprints and makes a disgruntled face. To be frank, my hardworking friend, I don't understand any of it. But it doesn't matter, as I am only the messenger, a humble servant. Those papers are for my employer, who, if you are willing, you will soon meet. I would deliver them myself, but believe me or not, those damn supplies have still not arrived. Also, traveling through these beautiful golden plains became so dangerous lately. I am certain that you can handle it, though. Care to help me one last time, friend? Okay, listen then. I need you to bring this blueprint to a man named Maltimore Gartside. Maltimore Gartside. Got it? Good. He's an old man in his 50s, maybe 60s. Long gray hair, kind of skinny, pale skin. Hard to miss. You will know him. Yes, he's my employer. And yes, I know where he lives. Wouldn't want you to scour through all of Westfall, of course. Go west of Sentinel Hill, but north of Moonbrook. He lives in a solitary cottage. Usually spends his time outside of it. Don't know why, didn't ask, didn't care. So you meet him, tell him I said hello, and give him the blueprint. Easy. Also, please be careful. It's very, very important that those blueprints don't fall into the hands of those bandits with red bandanas, the Defias, as they call themselves. Light be with you, friend. Okay, so we're going... West, but north of Moonbrook, Solitary Cottage. Awesome. We, we should be able to find that, no problem. I, I have to assume it's going to be somewhere right in this area, south of the Alexton Farmstead.
I mean, he could actually mean the Alexson Farmstead building. I'm not seeing any other buildings that are west of Sentinel Hill, but north of Moonbrook. Moonbrook is like pretty close. Hmm. I mean, I guess north of Moonbrook could also mean this little cottage up here. It could be north of the Alexson Farmstead. I think like that's pretty likely. Let's go check that out. I'm not seeing any quest markers pop up. I don't even know if this is actually a house, and I don't even know if this was in the base game or not. Uh, it is a house. Old Church of Westfall is closed. Yeah, this is not in the base game. This is pretty suspicious. Um, what else is west of, um... What else is to the west? Maybe this little hut over here with the windmill. Let's go check that. That looks new also. I don't I remember the windmill kind of. I don't know that I remember the hut. Yeah, this is it. And there he is. Very cool, very cool. He's got his own little plot of land over here. This dude doesn't look suspicious at all, does he? No, it's it's probably totally fine. We, we trust him completely. Who are you? What do you want from me? Blueprints from Hewen, finally. He couldn't be any slower with it. Let me see what's written inside. Be careful. Weird, but clever. Okay. Really? Goblins are insane. So it is possible. He seems happy. I'm really curious to know, like, I know they, they made their own goblin starting area. And I feel like the base game, like... The real game handles goblins very poorly. They become the butt of jokes, they are just there for comic relief, and it's always felt like kind of a waste of one of the races in the game, that's one of the core races. And I wonder if they handle the goblin characters and goblin storytelling any better. Because I would love it for goblins to actually be cool. Harvest Golden Mystery Part X. Excuse me for my bad manners, I was so excited to lay my hands on those blueprints. Never have I seen these lands in such a starry state. And it is not only because of the Defias. You see, years ago, a salesman arrived in Westfall. He brought new, a new commodity, Harvest Golems. Farmers were overjoyed. Golems worked flawlessly, gathering crops and scaring the wildlife away. So more golems were being purchased. In a few years, they outnumbered the farmers, and then it happened. Golems turned on their owners. In a few weeks, almost all farms in Westfall were lost. And to make matters worse, the Defias arrived. It was only natural that the people of Westfall linked the sudden change to the Brotherhood. I believe that it is a mere coincidence. Someone else manipulated the Golems, and now the Defias are using the situation to their advantage. I will continue the story later. For now, I have a request. Go to Moonbrook. The smith had a stash of engineering equipment hidden in his forge. Check there. This is really cool. Again, like a perfect example of what Classic Plus should be. Fleshing out the zones, adding content, adding story. Uh, and so, yeah, like we, I, I mean, me personally, I never knew like why there were Harvest Golems in Westfall. Uh, I did assume we're kind of like led to believe that it had something to do with the Defias Brotherhood. But I love the background where he explains that, you know, someone came, they started selling the Harvest Golems. And pretty soon, like, all farms were pretty much maintained by the golems. I guess I never really thought about it that way. 
you know, in, instead of using like human farmers, uh, more and more they started to rely on these golems. And I wonder if that's why like a lot of people were also pushed into the Device Brotherhood. You know, possibly people that had been had been farmers were displaced. They didn't have jobs anymore, and then you know you, you become abandoned. Obviously, uh, in this world, that's what you do. So yeah, I hope we hear more. So he said go to Moonbrook. I think I do want to follow up on this. Uh, we, can, we can always put off the People's Militia for a little bit. We're kind of like right at level with it anyway. And I think what Blizzard maybe like doesn't really understand completely about like why a Classic Plus could be a huge win is like anybody who's played Classic or who plays Classic now, like we have an investment in these zones. We have an investment in the stories that were started in these zones. We have an investment in even like the smallest quests, the smallest characters. Because a lot of us have been experiencing Classic era for a long time, uh, especially those of us who have played the game for 20 years so that if you go back and you like add story add context develop quest lines like that's going to be super exciting uh, for all the people who have a large investment uh, already like emotionally in all of these zones throughout time or even just since 2019 when classic came out uh, and for so many people i think it would be incredibly engaging to see these stories continue to develop to see new stories set in the zones uh like kind of developing them in a way that cataclysm didn't Cataclysm just changed them and recontextualized them. It didn't develop them. Uh, it wasn't as exciting as something so simple as like finding out the background of the harvest golems. There's a lot of value in adding content like that. And I, I think it could really, I think it would do a lot better for them than they, than they think it would. You know, kind of like the whole you think you do, but you don't. I think they need to like reanalyze their thinking about Classic Plus and understand it could be like kind of a huge selling point for a lot of people to get back into the game uh, and invest time and money into the game to have these sorts of experiences back in the classic era. So he said the smith had tools. We're looking for the smithy. I think it's on the other side of town. Here we go. Ah, uh, this looks like it would be it. Oh wait, what did we do? Did I not take the quest? <laughs> okay. I'm gonna do a little editing magic here because I'm pretty sure that like stupidly I just didn't take the quest. I got too excited. I'll be, we'll be right back guys. All right, take two. And now we have the quest. And now we can click on the box. And I suppose we are taking this right back.
engineering tools and they are still intact. Unexpected, but a welcome surprise. Now I have all I need. I have all the materials to create a new harvest golem. He says, and he runs away. <laughs> so very rude. <clears throat> I have all the materials to create a new harvest golem. If my calculations are correct, I should be able to rewire his mind. I need your help, and the Harvest Golem will be hostile at first, and the rewiring spell requires all my concentration. I need you to draw the Golem's attention until I am finished. Can I help you? Get ready, I will now activate the Golem, draw its attention, and I will cast the rewiring spell. Don't damage it too much, it needs to remain intact. Okay, so we just want to, like, tank it, basically. Maybe I can just kite it around. Maybe I should, maybe I should damage it a little bit? Oh, there we go. It didn't take too long. It worked. What can I do for you? This is good, really good. Given time, we will be able to rewire all golems in Westfall, but only if their production stops. I did indeed promise you the rest of the story, so where did we pause? Oh yes, the arrival of the Defias. Very soon they started producing harvest golems of their own. How they managed this is a mystery to me. I have my suspicions though. It requires a powerful mage to produce an animation rune, far beyond the level of the parlor mages the Defias possess. I suspect they are working with the person who, is, who turned the golems hostile in the first place, their original creator. I will handle rewiring the golems of Westfall. It may take months, maybe years, but it will be done. However, the Defias can still easily produce new ones faster than I can rewire them. We need to halt their production. Fortunately, I know where we can find the shipments of animation runes. Go to the Jangalode Mine and the Gold Coast Quarry. The Defias hide their runes deep inside, awaiting transport to their underground foundry. Bring them to me. See, this is leading us to Deadmines eventually. Jangalode Mine and the Gold Coast Quarry. Gather the Jangalode Mine shipment. Oh, so there's two different shipments, and we need to visit each of the places. Uh, Jangalode Mine is to the north, and then Gold Coast Quarry. We're actually quite near. Let's let's head north first to the Jangalode Mine. So we haven't been up that way yet. It looks like somebody's already been clearing their way in. That could make this a little bit easier for us if there are other people here.
Haha, uh -huh, there's the shipment right over this way. Wow, a couple weeks ago we had uh, like 3,500 people playing when I would log in, but now we have 4,500. It's quite a lot of people. The number s does seem to recently just be going up and up. Uh, again, here we're trailing behind somebody who's already made their way in. Let's see if we also run into some respawns. Yeah, it looks like it. Well, that guy we might be able to avoid. 
think I've only been in this particular cave like once or twice. Apparently it's a popular place to be. Greetings. Can I help you? Oh no, we can't interact with him until he does this little event. And I do not want aggro on this thing. See if I can grab this quest really quick and uh, and then we'll read it after. All right. Um let's have a look. Oh yeah, see it's taking us into dead mines. Venture into the dead mines and slay Glynid. Once done, return to Martimor. The goblins of Defias have uh, produced harvest golems deep inside their underground hideout. The people's militia in Sentinel Hill have been trying to find its location lately. Maybe they have discovered its whereabouts. If not, they will probably need your help. Once you are inside, find the workshop and slay their leader. This will stop their manufacturing operations for good. In the meantime, I will reach out to Hewen. If anyone will be able to decipher this note, it's him or at least one of his contacts. 
Okay, so we are like working our way towards being able to do dead mines. One thing that we have to do, well, we have to do a couple things. Uh, the first thing we have to do is we have to do the running around to go to Red Ridge and talk to Wiley. That'll take us back to Stormwind uh, to speak with Matthias Shaw. Uh, then we have to finish up People's Militia and we have to find the Defias Messenger. Uh, finding the messenger seems like it'd be pretty easy. It seems like people are camping at spawn points, so we just have to hang out in Moonbrook. We will probably end up having to like look for a group and then just sit it out a little bit until he spawns. Uh, we kill him, and then if we're smart, we stay in that group, and then we do we go back to Sentinel Hill, do the escort. And I think at that point, if we've grabbed the quest in Stormwind, there's a couple of uh, Deadmines quests in Stormwind. If we do that, then we should have all of the quests. Uh, if I look at looking for group. Whoops. Oh, I don't want to be in queue. How do I, how do I get out of queue? Oh dear God. Yeah, I don't really want to be in queue. Let's. There also does not seem to be. Doesn't, oh, leave queue. It's a whole button. Okay. Uh, I don't really know how the queuing system works. So that'll be something that I'll, I'll just have to kind of investigate on my own. And then hopefully once I get into a run, I'll be in a position to just press record on the run and then we can uh, we can get deadmines done. So we'll see how all that works. It looks like we'll get some bracers out of the deal. All right, guys, I'll tell you what, I'm gonna do the running around on my own. I will take us out to Red Ridge, grab the flight point, talk to Wiley. I'm gonna get all that stuff done. And then next time we can head to the south, we can work on this kill quest, we can camp the messenger, we can get all that stuff done. And that'll get us prepared uh, to do the run. Not next episode, but hopefully the episode after next we'll be able to do our dead mines run thank you guys all very much for joining me i truly do appreciate all the support on this series if you're enjoying the content leaving a like subbing to the channel ringing the bell all that stuff really does help out a lot and i appreciate those that do until next time take care of yourselves out there and take care of each other and we will see you back in azeroth again very soon bye for now